What is going on guys, KLZ here. Today we're going to talk about rank play and give a little review and a little feedback to what I don't like, what I do like. Um, first of all, the first topic we're going to talk about is people leaving. Now, obviously I feel like you shouldn't punish people for leaving if, for example, the connection is really bad. I got put onto one server where we were at 120 ping. Every single one of my teammates were at 120 ping. There was packet loss all the time. It was literally unplayable. So like punishing people for that is kind of rough. I mean, maybe we could take that on the chin if like it's just an odd occurrence, but like there are certain occasions where I shouldn't be in the lobby with certain people or people aren't taking it seriously, like they're AFK or whatever it may be. So it is a very tricky situation they were dealt with here, but uh, there needs to be a solution because I, today I got into five lobbies in a row where a teammate left and then I was just left in a 1v4 because the other two just dashboard after the guy left. Like, at this point, like, playing the game is just a waste of time because you have one good round or, like, the enemy has one good round and someone leaves because someone always has to get, like, crapped on, right? There's always got to be a bad player in the lobby. There's always got to be a good player in the lobby. So, like, that bad player doesn't like the lobby that he's in because he's getting crapped on and he doesn't want to like rise up to the occasion and play better for the team and he just dashboards like that's a problem so we're gonna fix that somehow um better matchmaking is another thing that um i've been in the lobby and most of the time my teammates have 70 plus ping don't know why why i'm being paired with these people but it's always on my team i never verse anyone over 40 ping but i'm always with players that are over 70 ping and that's just a huge disadvantage and they need to fix it because i've actually gone to lobbies with people that are literally contenders when i'm like advanced expert and i can't really get out of advanced expert because my teammates are so bad like what am i supposed to do if i get like a, a teammate that isn't supposed to be in our division right he gets crapped on against people that are my skill level he leaves the game and then i lose sr like what do you want me to do dashboard and then we have the leaving problem again, you know? It's just, it's just, it's a vicious cycle right now. So the third thing is basically following GAs. Um, they've actually talked about this, that they were gonna incorporate like GA bonds. Like you can't use F8 stabilizer. You can't use the airstrike, which is GA'd. Um, there's a lot of other things that are GA'd, but uh, so actually I've asked two people that looked like they were walling. I'm not gonna accuse, but they, I'm pretty sure they were walling but they were both using NZs and that gun is G8. So why why, why is the bar bond, but the NZ isn't? Because I'm pretty sure the, the NZ is bond, but for some reason you're able to use it in league play. There's also another perk called intuition, which you can visual pulses through walls or something. It's, it's G8 and for some reason people are still able to use it. So the last thing I want to talk about is SR. Um, so like, for example, if you're in challengers, you're earning 15 SR per match because people just leave to save their SR. That's why they're in challenger because they're doing an SR glitch. And then for a loss, you're getting 40. So you win three games in a row and it's all canceled out by losing, which contributes to people dashboarding. Yeah, you get, you get, you get the point, right? All these problems are a vicious cycle because they're not fixing the problems. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm kind of confused because I feel like I'm pretty sure they delayed the release of ranked because of a stat glitch. And here we are with a stat glitch. It's almost like they didn't fix the glitch that they had. So I don't know why it was delayed if it was never fixed. So I don't know. What, what is your guys experience on Vanguard rank play? And if you're playing solo, do you have any hair left? That is what I want to know in the comment section below. But that was my little review. Hope you guys enjoyed this little rant. Um, and yeah, I feel like it was fun the first couple of days. But then as soon as everyone learned how to dashboard by joining on someone on socials and just leaving the game, like the game just became really annoying and it wasn't very fun to play. So it kind of sucks and I hope they fix it. But thanks guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.